Here's a quick wrap up of top energy stories to start the week. PI Mabe Group is projecting, with Iberdrola, a third wind farm for Puebla. This 220 megawatt project is 90% allocated by 150 companies, including Grupo Modelo, Soriana, and Lala. The project is meant to cover the company's 5% clean energy certificates obligation, coming into force beginning 2018. According to Reforma, the 53rd parliamentary meeting between the US and Mexico saw American legislators in favor of including an energy chapter in the NAFTA renegotiations, providing legal certainty to their energy companies operating in Mexico. Also from Reforma, the Ministry of Energy highlighted the importance of completing two energy infrastructure projects in the Yucatan Peninsula, totaling a capacity of 3,000 megawatts by 2022. These projects are outlined in the Prodesen program to address the increasing electricity demand of the region. El Economista reported the Mexican IPP, Thermion Energy, raised 7.3 billion Mexican pesos through its first CKD. The resources will be used to invest in energy projects through a self-financing strategy for each investment. Thermion is currently developing 117 megawatts of wind power projects and 60 megawatts of solar power projects. The Spanish renewable energy powerhouse, ACCIONA, reported that throughout 2016, Mexico ranked first in the company's wind energy production, with 2,191 gigawatt hours produced. Last but not least, be sure not to miss Latin America's Energy Year 2017. The event will take place in Mexico City on June 21st and 22nd, covering Central America and the Caribbean's latest trends in energy, mobility, and energy efficiency. This was your news roundup for the week. For Mexico Energy Review and Mexico Business Publishing, I'm Esteban Pajes.